Hey everybody, thanks for joining me. This is Jason with Outdoor Adventures. I wanted to put together a video because I logged in last week uh, to answer some comments over coffee in the morning like I usually do. And I noticed that I hit 10,000 subscribers. Can't really believe that. I don't know who the heck is watching me at this point, but uh, I greatly appreciate your support, especially the people that have been with me since the beginning of the channel. You know, when I first made the channel, I never, ever thought I would reach 10,000, 5,000 even, let alone 10,000. You know, I figured maybe a couple hundred people here and there, uh, and that would be about it. You know, this was originally only meant to push me to get outside, learn video editing, and, you know, step out of my comfort zone. And it's now gotten to be, you know, I have real life friends that I've met up with uh, because of the YouTube channel. Uh, you know, Spagiver, uh, Meerkat, a couple people from the meetup that we did last year via Facebook, and I just wanted to say thank you. Thank you very much. Because of your support, actually, you know, because you guys are forced to watch those very annoying ads, you know, before the videos, I was able to make another purchase. Now, it's no secret that I do get paid a little bit for posting videos on YouTube. I've been using this Nikon AW110 for, you know, in the rain, in the water, uh, to set up some multi-angle shots every now and then. And this has been great. However, this is finally starting to have some issues, especially with battery life. It's just not lasting very well at all, so it's time to retire this. With you, the subscribers' help, I was able to take the money from the ads and put it toward a new camera. And that new camera is the GoPro Hero 5 Black, and I think I'm going to have a lot of fun with this camera. We're going to do a test in a little bit, just kind of getting familiar with, you know, the the software, the, the ProTune stuff, because I really know nothing about these. GoPro seemed to have fixed most of the issues that I had a big problem with in this camera. And the coolest thing about this is I am actually able to take pictures of the night sky, which I can't even begin to tell you how many times I've wished I had a camera like this, you know, or a DSLR out when I'm, while I'm backpacking to kind of portray what I'm seeing in the night sky, because uh, it's beautiful. If you haven't been out there, uh, I know some people can't get out there much, and they, they say they even live you know, vicariously through my hiking videos, which, you know, that makes me feel real good that I'm able to do that for you. But take a look at this photo, and this was taken from my backyard at like 9.15, you know, really close to Pittsburgh so there's a lot of light pollution but hopefully you guys can see the stars here. Now I haven't even begun to really mess with any of the ISO settings or the shutter speeds or anything so I'm still learning that aspect but not only can I now show you the night sky but I can actually do some time lapse with this camera as well as it being waterproof and you know being able to be used in the rain and set up multi-angle shots so we're gonna take a look at that in just a second here I do have a couple upcoming trips. We got two in the works right now. I was supposed to be out this week, however, work got really busy and I did end up getting some kind of stupid sinus infection. I have allergies for whatever reason at 34 years old. I've never had them before until this year. But we will be doing the Virginia Triple Crown, Dragon's Tooth, and a couple other overlooks. I can't remember what they are exactly off the top of my head. I'll annotate the video. But that's going to happen next week. I think around midweek we're going to be doing that. And then the following week after Memorial Day, I am going to be out on a kayak trip uh, with a couple people that I met up with uh, from Facebook last year. So that's going to be really, really cool. I'm really, really excited about these two trips. I'm just really, really excited to get out there. And I just wanted to put this video to say a big thank you. Also, I don't know if it's going to happen this weekend, but possibly. I want to start getting the uh, Beginner Backpacking series finalized. There's still three or four more videos left in that series, so I will be working on that in the meantime. But for now, let's take a look at the GoPro footage. This is the Nikon Coolpix AW110. Everybody say bye to this camera because I probably am not going to use it anymore. It was a great camera, but I think that we're going to have some better quality in the next shot. Hopefully the audio is on par with what you just heard, but hopefully you guys can see a great improvement in the video. Now the, uh, the data rate on the GoPro I believe is 55 or 60 megabits per second. 
This is 55 or 53, somewhere in the 50s. The Nikon was in the 20s, I believe. So hopefully, you know, especially in the rain or the snow, perhaps, that this camera is going to pick up things and process that information a lot faster than the previous camera. Like I said, we talked about the time lapse that we can do on this. We talked about the, uh, the night shots that we can do on this. So hopefully this camera will be able to allow me to do more with the video filming while I'm out there. And we'll see how it goes. So guys, thanks for joining me. Thanks for the 10,000 subscribers. And thank you for putting up with all those ads because I hate ads as well, but it really does go to a good cause. Thanks guys. I'll see you on the trail.